Hey guys, I'm excited. As you can see behind me, I've got a whole bunch of things set up. I'm going to do a little experiment today because somebody asked me the other day, do drones, when they're pupating, actually chew their way out of their own cell? Or do they wait and let workers chew, open the cappings, and then pull them out? And so it seems that people are divided about what happens there. And so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go in and I'm gonna pull out a frame of drone brood. I'm gonna put it in an observation hive, take it indoors and observe what happens. Let's get started. Some of you asked me what day it is, what's the temperature, about uh, 50 degrees right now. It is in February, so this is in our winter, we we're about uh, 30 days from spring, so we have a ways to go. I don't want to heavily smoke this hive. I'm not wearing any gloves. I would like not to be stung, but I don't want a lot of bees to leave the frame that I want. This is the frame that has the drone brood on it. And so I'm going to move it to the observation hive. Hopefully with as many bees on it as will stay on it. Let me pop in here just for a second, let you guys know that I love you. I appreciate you watching my video. Give me a thumbs up, please, and it help my video get circulated around. More beekeepers will find it. Subscribe and click on the bell to be notified each time I make a new video. Now let's keep watching. Well, we're going to quickly get this inside because this isn't the best of time of the year to actually do this kind of work. You need to wait till it's warmer. But this study is going to tell me a couple of things. It's going to tell me whether or not drones actually chew their own way out of their cells or do workers assist them. And it's also going to tell me what time of the year I have drones. These drones are going to emerge, and when they do, that will tell me a lot about when swarm season starts and when I can start raising queens. I got to get these indoors. Most of you know I love burlap. You can see my burlap here that I use. I'll leave a link in the description, but this is the way I like to put it out and save it for next time. I got these little notepads, one sheet, make sure it goes all the way around the horn there, and just smother the fire out by sealing off the gap with paper. In my case, I've got to kind of give it a little, a little bit of a snap down like that. Did I get it? There we go. Now that will smother it out and that burlap will be ready for next time. Hey guys, if you want to know more about beekeeping, if you've stumbled on my channel and you're thinking about getting into beekeeping this year, watch this video right here. How to start beekeeping, 1.5 million views. I'll see you over there.